Hey everybody, welcome to the channel, glad to have you here. Today we have a green skin on Beastmen matchup. Um, I think a very fun one and a, a very dynamic um, matchup. Um, but you can see here, um, I was a little afraid of Bestigors, so I did bring the Warlord Boys um, and two Black Orcs for some anti-armor duty. Um, then I do have three Savage Orcs, kind of just to fill in the line, fight some Gore Herd. Um, here I do have, of course, my standard goon squad, Shaman, uh, Orc War Boss, Goblin Big Boss on Spider, and then Goblin Big Boss on Wolf. Uh, I do have a traditional firing line here with the Rusty Airs and the regular unit. Um, some anti-large in the back with Orc Vorboid Biggins and some Orc Biggins. Um, and I do have some goblins here just for some extra cash I had. Um, and yeah, so I'm going to be trying to take it to uh, Slade X's Beastmen. And you can see here he does have a vibration of a beast on a chariot. Um, and he's going to be coming forward and spirit leeching me like the whole game. And uh, basically going to effectively reduce my orc war boss to nothing more than a walking uh, aura and wa machine. Because I can't afford to uh, bring him into combat because of the constant spirit leeches. Um, so pretty devastating there. Uh, he does have a main line here of best gore herd and gore herd. So, um, only two best gores. Uh, so, I do have two black orcs, so that'll be really good for me. And I'm going to be repositioning my line here to kind of uh, reflect this um, and what where my units do need to be. Um, on each flank, he does have ungore spear herds, um, and then some more in the back. And he does have two chaos warhounds, one with poison. You can see the other one over here, which he does spring on me much later. Um, and I do not see it coming. <laughs> he has. Uh, very like an old Beastman build. Um, two gore bowls here. Um, what do they have? Yeah, just the slaughterer's call. Great call there. Um, be adding some leadership to uh, all these guys. He does have a uh, giant here, who my goblins will be focusing fire on, and he does have Morgur here. Um, and of course, over here is the other gore bowl. This one has. Blood Greed, but not Slaughterer's Call. Um, I guess he just ran out of money. Because it is like a 200 gold um, thing. So there you can see this guy has that amazing aura of plus 8 leadership, um, plus 8 melee attack, and plus 8 charge bonus if he's in combat. So generally all of the time. <laughs> so of course, we'll get this started. I'm going to be just advancing. You can see the first Spirit Leech comes down. Um, and this is why I like to bring the Orc War Boss with the healing potion, just because Grimgore can get like completely just crushed by this um, Bray Shaman of Death business. Um, so I like to bring this guy because he can just survive a little bit longer, and he can generally get away from everything that the Beastmen have, um, especially if you have some Orc Borbo Biggins to counter any uh, uh, Centigors with great weapons. We're going to be moving up here. He doesn't have any Ungor Raiders that I, well, I wouldn't even know anyways. Um, so I was a little hesitant about getting my heroes too far up, um, but I will be just charging, and you're going to see I'm going to move my Black Orcs, um, Armor Sundering Goblins, and then Black Orcs, and then I'm going to fill in the sides with my Savage Orcs. So you can see my front line is in a bit of chaos as another Spirit Leech comes down. <laughs> my poor Warboss, um, almost to half health already. Um, and we're just going to fast forward here as we kind of posture around as I get my line the way I want it. Um, you can see some Ungor Spear Herds. We're going to charge in some Savage Orcs, some Black Orcs. And there you can see um, the Warlord's Boys are going to win this very easily against these Gore Herd. These, I didn't mean to actually send some Savage Orcs in as well, <laughs> but these Black Orcs are going to do well. Um, my Goblins are coming up to deal with this Giant. Uh, my biggins are going to come over here and kill these Ungor Spear Herd because I'm running out of troops. And I'm leaving these uh, Orc Boar Boy biggins um, in the back lines to try and charge any sort of uh, Gore Bowl business that happens. Um, and so you're going to see I'm going to be charging in my biggins here. Uh, and my, my biggins here, sorry, and my Orc Boar Boy biggins over here. Um, and they're going to clean up these guys with their huge weapon strength of 42. Um, you can see these guys are just doing pretty well. My black orcs on this side are suffering a bit, um, but that should stabilize. Ooh, sorry there. Another spirit leech coming down um, as these savage orcs begin to rout, and I will be skinned soon here, opening fire on this giant. 
Um, as I split up my Encourage Aras over here, you can see getting some nice early damage. Uh, and I'm going to bring my Orc War Boss over here to just cast Hua um, to try and keep these guys in the fight. You can see my Goblin Big Boss getting smacked on by that already terrified by the giant, so not looking too good. And here come my biggins to help try and deal with this Gorbel. You can see just cleaning up those spearmen with those biggins. Um, but here come, of course, the Warhounds, which I don't have anything in the back yet because I've foolishly committed my goblins. <laughs> you can see these biggins doing the same thing, just cutting through this cheap infantry. And uh, with the armor sundering to Warlords Boys and to Rusty Airs, um, this guy is going to have zero armor, and so these Night Goblins are going to do very well. Uh, but here come the Chaos Warhounds. I'm just glad they're not on the, uh, the Rusty Airs just yet. You can see these biggins do route, um, just because this is not the best fight. The Corbel is anti-large, and they really do better against lots of large units instead of just one. I mean, you can see that Goblin Big Boss being taken out. Um, and this Orc War Boss here is just kind of sitting around. Can't do much, because I expect a ton more Spear Leeches before this game is out. And if I take too much damage on him, I've already used my potion, so it would be pretty bad. Here you can see that Giant is going to be routed off. And um, these Warhounds are eating my Night Goblin Archers. Um, you can see some Savage Orcs coming back, and they're going to cut through these Spear Herd. Um, some biggins are trying to chase these warhounds before they get in here. Uh, but you can see I've kind of won this right flank. Um, and now it's really just the heroes I have to deal with. You can see the, this guy's still on the field. Morgur, full health. Um, Gorbel, some chaos spawn. This Gorbel is getting charged and s um, surrounded here. He's not going to do too well in that fight. My rusty is still trying to run away, trying to find a good spot to uh, go in. And I'm actually going to commit. You can see another Spear Leech here coming down. And I am going to commit Gorbel um, into this fight. I mean, not Gorbel. My Orc War Boss. Just, I really need to kill this guy. Um, but you can see my health dropping super low already. Um, and you can see over here I make a total micro mistake. You can see um, all I have all my aura right here. Um, and none of it over here, and you can see it's going to cause a kind of just instant chain route of the Warlords boys, the Rusty Airs, uh, and the um, Savage Orcs. So definitely a micro mistake there uh, as we cast. Here we go um, on these guys. But now I'm in here, so these begins are going to be doing pretty well against um, these units. We can see apocalyptic, apocalyptic Vision going down, so these Chaos Spawn have, um, oh, yeah, so much melee attack. Uh, but I do finally chase off that Gorbel, so I'm going to be collapsing here on this. Again, keeping my Orc or my orc War Boss ugh, um, pretty safe. Um, and these Chaos Spawn are not going to like getting hit by these Orc Boar Boy Biggins, especially when they have Wah. Um, so just trying to get those guys off the field um, so they can't generate any value against my very low armored infantry. Uh, here you can see the Warhounds constantly pressuring come, come back the poor rusty ears are going to get eaten alive again, um, but my orc war boss is going to try and get in here. Um, but of course, here comes the brace shaman with his chariot. He's going to run over some poor green skins. I'm going to be trying to get some damage in. And here comes some more orc biggins. Here comes some uh, shooting this guy in the back as he comes back. And that's all it's going to take to break him. Glad I avoided just one charge on the orc war boss. Could change the way this battle turns out here. Um, you can see this orc, um, this Gorbol is getting surrounded by the orc shaman and the goblin big boss. I still have some black orcs in here against Morgur, and he doesn't have the most armor piercing damage, so that's going to be kind of the best way to hold him down. Um, and then, uh, of course, I'm going to finally realize that my orc war boss is going to die if he just gets even one more off on me. Um, and I'm going to be chasing this Bray shaman off the field till his death with my orc boar boy begins. You can see another here we go coming down. But, it, but I made a mistake by casting it on these biggins instead of on kind of just the ground. Um, and you can see Morgur trying to pull out here, trying to reform a new battle line, wait for some of his stuff to come back. Um, but really, I just have too much here. And I'm going to swarm around him. And again, keeping my Orc War Boss out of the fight, but safe um, is the goal. And just swarm and break his leadership. It's the best way to deal with Morgur, because uh, otherwise you're never ever going to kill him. Uh, 
So yeah, that, again, Slade X, very, very good player. Um, definitely, I think he's like top 20 or something on the leaderboards. Um, very, uh, I think very good build here. I probably wouldn't have brought the Giant, um, just because Night Goblin Archers are so prevalent in today's meta. Um, but still, just a very good unit, especially if I'd brought just a ton of Black Orcs. Um, it would have been terrifying um, to try and take this guy down without archers. And you can see these Warhounds doing very well, tearing at my archers. Um, the Gore Herd doing all right. The Best of Gore definitely trading pretty decently with Black Orcs. I didn't think they would treat a trade that well. Um, but it seems like on the charge, especially, they do a ton of damage. You can see these Gore Bulls. One of them racking up a decent number of kills. And this Bray of beast Beasts definitely paying for itself because it is cost effective with um, by taking out just the orc war boss out of the fight essentially um, and he got a ton of kills there running around with his chariot you can see these ungor spear herds <laughs> um, just got torn apart by the biggins I probably would have avoided fighting on the flanks um, just kind of kept them in the wings waiting for a, a moment um, but yeah anyways great game to Slade X um, you can see a lot of my troops here uh, doing okay. The Black Orcs actually getting some of the least kills on the team, um, but everything kind of doing its job. Uh, but anyways, thanks again for watching, and that's that.